Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from ICM. It is made in 135 scale and this time I would call it a combo kit because it combines together vehicle together with figures and as you can see it is mentioned in the name so it's written model T1917 LCP with Anzac crew so you can see these two guys here in the front so basically we will be able to build a simple diorama with help of this kit and you don't have to buy anything extra you get figures and vehicle out of the box so basically you get a simple diorama set uh, for a quite reasonable price in my opinion. So we have here the commercial sample and we are going to open it and check what is actually supplied here. So first of all box size is typical, we have nice box art, then on the side you can see some information about the kit. So there are, should be uh, 95 plus 14 parts, I guess there is no need to explain why it is uh, divided like this. And here we have also the same marking option as on the box art. And you can notice on the box that we have here quite interesting novelty, let's say. We have this sticky tape seals from all four sides. I'm not sure why it was decided to apply such stuff on the box, but now from now on, let's say, you won't be able to check what is actually supplied inside. And I'm not sure that some modellers will be happy with this, because it makes it more difficult to check if parts arrived intact to you, or maybe before purchasing some model shop. So, I mean, it's really strange. And don't blame the sellers, because it's not the sellers who does this, it's actually the uh, comes from the factory just like this. Okay, so we are going to remove this top lid. As you can see it's a flexible top lid and again typical design for ICM and here we have sturdy white cardboard box which uh, should protect everything inside. So let's open it and here we have all plastic frames packed into the same plastic bag then on the bottom we have assembly manual and the same uh, also extra plastic bag with uh, sprue for figures but we are going to start with vehicle parts first so just give me a second I'm going to open it in case you saw previous Model T reviews in 135 scale you won't be surprised by anything here because that's pretty much the same kit uh, supplied with figures. So here for example you can see first plastic sprue, we are going to zoom in a bit and you can notice that we have plastic wheels, we have separate um, bonnet parts, we have some engine parts here and despite the really tiny size this vehicle should have really nice engine so I would recommend to spend some time painting and weathering it and there are a lot of thin and small parts so be ready for this, they're really tiny here you can see comparison with my fingertip so it's better to use some tweezers maybe. And here you can see all these parts from the opposite side. Of course, uh, because all these wheels are molded as a single piece parts, you will have to use some masks or maybe some pointed brush to paint um, tires and rims. Otherwise, it won't be possible to get a nice clean paintwork. Here we have another plastic sprue in the separate plastic bag. This is a clear plastic frame, so here we have all glasses for this vehicle. I'm going to zoom in a second. Okay, now you should be able to see it. So, really nice molding quality. Of course, masks for this is not supplied in the kit, so if you would like to cover them, you will have to do it with your own tools. But again, molding quality looks nice. Here I don't have any complaints. Next, we go on with second gray plastic sprue for the vehicle and that's pretty much final plastic sprue for the vehicle so let's zoom out now you should be able to see it so here we have various body panels and and everything looks really nice as far as you can see doors are molded shut so you won't be able to open them on your vehicle but again it's 135 scale vehicle kit so it would be strange to expect something different from this and here you can see radiator grill which features some pre-molded details which is also quite nice and here again you can see these uh, shut doors which won't be openable on the finished model but other than that molding quality looks fine if you flip it over here on the opposite side you can see that everything is fine and note that spare wheel 
it is molded together with this special uh, head actually not the hatches but with straps which are holding it in place so you will have to paint them carefully and it might add a bit of fun stuff to do and the same applies to this tarp as you can see it is in folded position so it is also uh, tight with straps so now I'm opening another plastic bag for figure parts just give me a second uh, these figure parts are molded on the grey plastic sprue as far as I remember we were checking this figure set before so if you saw this video review again you won't be surprised so here we have typical 135 scale parts division and it means separate legs, hands, torso and really nice detailing I can zoom in back into the figures and you can see that we have a good level of promoted details so it's just a matter of careful painting and weathering and everything will be nice of course poses are predefined so you won't be able to move a lot here and there are no guiding pins whatsoever so be sure to uh, perfectly align all these hands and legs with torso because otherwise you will end up with weird looking figures and that's not what we want out of this build. Next I am going to show you the decals sheet. It is hidden in assembly manual. So here we have I guess at least two marking options. So decal sheet is not that big and here you can see it. But printing quality looks nice just like in any other ICM kit. So here I don't have any complaints. It's just a matter of careful application. You will have nice paint work on your vehicle. Okay, what we have next? We have separate assembly manual for figures. So their assembly manual is printed on the separate sheet of paper. Here you can see the product number. So it's a separate kit. It is available as a separate kit, let's say. We have parts map here. And if you flip it over here, you can see a color printed marking and assembly guide for these two guys. So both can be seated in the front, as you can see one will be guiding the machine gun, one will be holding the steering wheel. Okay. And next we also have assembly manual for the vehicle itself. So it's a typical ICM brochure, it is printed in color, we have short history note in two languages, also some technical specifications, safety devices and paint chart. Then we go on with parts map. Note how many parts won't be used. That's really surprising in my opinion. We start with engine and drivetrain. Here we assemble fuel tank and front wheel axle and then install it onto the uh, vehicle floor panel. Then here we continue with installing the fuel tank and engine onto the mainframe. Also exhaust tube gets assembled and installed from the bottom. Uh, here you can see assembly of the rear wheel axle, which also gets into the place. Then we install various levers and suspension parts onto the vehicle. Wheels go in place, but of course nobody will be installing wheels on this step, so you can leave them aside, no worries. Then we assemble the rear section, as you can see it is just a matter of combining several panels together. Here you install seat, and next you actually get all this stuff into the vehicle or onto the vehicle then we assemble the front section so it means four with pedals and various control elements steering wheel with column uh, note that bonnet is uh, supplied in a closed position so if you would like to open it you will have to think through how to expose the engine and open panels so that they will look convincing and here we have this special holder for the machine gun. Here we install a spare wheel. As you remember it is molded as a one piece part with these straps. Next we continue with various storage boxes and that's pretty much all. So in total you have to do 49 steps in order to get your vehicle ready. Here you can see a photo of the finished model. And on the last page we have two marking options supplied. So just two marking options. And the first one is different with this special drawing on the uh, front grill. So 
as I said, this kit should be already available in Modelimex webshop, so if you would like to get it, you can just order it there, together with some other new kits from ICM. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such kit. What do you think about such combo kits? Write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video and you want to support us or help us, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today, and bye!